Good evening, everyone. Three extra inning games highlight day one of the Michigan American Legion Class A State Baseball Tournament. The Marquette Blues tried to slow down the defending state champions from Hudson in the last game of the day. And Hudson would get on the board first. Caleb Gulledge with this base hit. That's going to be good for two bases. Here comes Bryce Stewart. He goes around third and scores, and Hudson has the early lead at 1-0. Blues come back though and take the lead in the fourth. Ryan Hansen bounces one past Drew Milligan. Eric Kostriva and Alex Baker touch the plate and it's 2-1 Marquette. Top of the sixth, bunt time. Garrett Thompson scores Caleb Gulledge and it's a tied ball game. Next inning, Milligan singling over the head of Kostriva. That will bring home Jake Hubbard and Hudson regains the lead at 3-2. Blues make a number, another comeback after a Ryan Walther triple. Cody Norquist shallow fly to center and this will turn out to be a sacrifice fly as Walther scores. We're tied at 3. Tenth inning now and Alex Simmons singles past Riley Lynch. Garrett Thompson scores. Hudson plays 21 innings in one day and they win twice winning this one 4-3 in 10 innings. First game of the day, Menominee against Escanaba. And the Cubs had a 5-0 lead all the way into the eighth inning. But Sean Budzinski will find the gap in right center. And this will bring home three. And the Red Wave are right back in it, only trailing 5-3 on the double. After an error and a stolen base, Derek Ricewitz singles down the left field line. And both runners score. And we are knotted at five in the eighth inning. Ninth inning settled, nothing. So let's go to the 10th. Adam Saucier is in the batter's box and he's gonna get a base hit the center field. Landon Mako scores the run and Menominee has a one run lead. Escanaba had the tying and winning runs on second and third in the bottom of the 10th. However, Justin Doucette grounds out the short and Menominee's comeback works taking this one 6-5 in 10 innings. Let's go right to the ninth inning of the Hudson Gladstone game earlier in the day. And Hudson's going to regain the lead on the squeeze bunt. Alex Simmons scores. Cullen Willer Wilkerson with the bunt. And that gave Hudson a 7 6 lead. Two batters later. That's another bunt. Bryce Stewart. That would bring home two runs. And Hudson would get the 10 6 lead. But Gladstone uh, not done. A wild pitch here in the bottom of the ninth. Paul Tomaszewski scores, and Gladstone's right back in and only trailing 11 9. Two pitches later, Hayden Hardwick grounds the short. Turns out to be an RBI grounder. Peyton Urich scores, and Gladstone is within one. Two outs now, runner on third. Jake Pearson kind of splots it on the infield, and he beats it out for the base hit. Cody Frazier scores. We're tied at 11. To the extras in the 11th inning, Thomas Cox doesn't get much of it. He gets enough of it, though, for the base hit. And two runs would score. Gladstone dropped a tough one to Hudson, 13 to 11 in extra innings. Now, on in the other game that was played today, Kingsford cruised past Menominee by the score of 11 to 1. Action begins at 10 in the morning Eastern time tomorrow. A number of viewers have asked us for more clarification when it comes to plans for the NFL this season. TV6 and Fox UP are officially the Packers stations in the Upper Peninsula. This means when the teams play at the same time on Fox UP, the Packers will be the first choice. It's a business decision that happened when Upper Michigan source found out a Green Bay station that covers the Packers would soon be leaving a number of cable companies lineups. We're also running the Mike McCarthy Show and Inside Lambeau program during the season. Upper Michigan source cannot show all of the Packers games nor all of the Lions games. Some contests are on other networks. I know Lions fans are unhappy after three seasons of reasonable satisfaction. We still will carry nine Detroit Lions games in the regular season. Let's go to the medal count after this day. And the United States now has 18 gold. Tied with China, the USA now has the advantage in overall medals, 37 to 34. Japan is third with a total of 19, followed by Germany with 16. And Russia has, I misadded, Germany has 17, and Russia is in fifth place. Five other 
Countries have double figures, still 49 countries with medals, so therefore no newbies today. Ryan Dempsey of Oneida, Wisconsin, and his co-angler Bruce Freevert of Centerville, Illinois, brought a five walleye limit to the scales this morning, Thursday morning, 27 pounds, 15 ounces to lead day one of the National Guard FLW Walleye Tour on the Bays de Noc. Dempsey and Freevert hold a slim four ounce lead over Chad Schilling of South Dakota and co-angler Philip Riccio Jr. of Illinois. Five walleye, 27 pounds, 11 ounces. Third place belongs to Derek Parker of Scandia and Todd Dankirk of Minnesota, 26 pounds, 7 ounces. Gladstone's Glenn Schneer and Kevin Yancey of Newport, Michigan are 23rd with 21 pounds, 1 ounce. Cornell's Jerry Plord and David Dedecker of Illinois are 37th with 18 pounds, 1 ounce. Only four teams out of the 99 failed to catch a fish on day one. The tournament runs through Saturday afternoon. And don't forget, all kinds of information is available on our website at UpperMichiganSource.com. All right, thanks, Mike.